It all starts days before, when you're still home. You train, you prepare, you try not to think about it. And yet, you think about it all the time. Then you get to the track. You get to know the place. It's always different, yet so familiar all around the world. The tracks, the pits, busy people everywhere. You check the bike, clean some specs off the windscreen. The bike sits there like you, in apparent idleness, with an urge inside to hit the road. Engines start, the noise, the smell you know so well, a mix of gasoline, exhaust and rubber, butterflies in your stomach. A wave of the hand, rev it up. It's time to ride. Looks easy, but there's room to do more. Turn three calls for a late apex, a calculated loss to open throttle with better traction. The breaking point before turn seven gives you a chill down the spine. Whoever designed this knows how to keep a rider on their toes. With a fast bike, it's a hell of a ride, even alone. Just imagine racing here. A track day alone is one thing, a head-to-head -head challenge is another. There's no such thing as a friendly race. Racing is racing. And when there's just two of you on the track, one thing is clear. There's going to be one winner and one loser. Races are not won at turn one. Don't push too hard. Smooth and rounded. Easy on the tires. If you attack too hard, you'll end up in the gravel. It's easy to overdo everything. It's easy to lose your breaking point, your references. Concentrate. Focus. This is what you live for. When the red lights go off and the race begins.